Hi, uh, welcome to my next vlog, uh, my scooter vlog. Um, anyway, uh, because I had a, an encounter with a deer uh, last year while I was uh, commuting to work, um, I need to do some uh, repair on my uh, fairing, on the front fairing. <clears throat> For this, I purchased um, a repair kit. It's a bumper repair kit, actually, so it's made for uh, plastic. And uh, it's made by um, Dominion Sure Seal Limited. Um, <clears throat> and it seemed to work uh, fairly well. It comes with a few different uh, parts to the process. Uh, there's a cleaner. Um, there's kind of a super glue. This is what I'm putting on now. Um, crazy glue, super glue, whatever you want to call it, stuff. Now this is an old garbage can uh, that we were throwing out anyway, it had a hole in it and uh, I needed a piece of plastic to fill a uh, spot that uh, I'd broken off. Um, so I cut it to shape and uh, luckily it kind of cut easy, it was quite rigid plastic, very strong. And after shaping it a little bit more, I uh, was able to get it to the correct size. Now this is the, uh, the cleaner that you put on first. It kind of prepares the surface for the, uh, the glue and the epoxy or whatever. And they even number the, uh, the bits. So number two is the super glue. A uh, word to the wise, um, be careful when you're using this stuff and using plastic gloves. See that hole in my finger there? Yeah, I got stuck to the, uh, stuck to the, um, the piece of plastic. Anyway, uh, number four and five, it's a two-part epoxy. <clears throat> and you uh, just equal, um, mix equal parts of each. And uh, it's kind of like a, a filler if you're doing your um, auto body or whatever. So you uh, apply that. This is in two, two coats. So you, you put the first coat on. And it also comes with kind of a, um, a plastic tape, mesh tape, which you put on with a second coat of the epoxy after waiting, I think it's uh, an hour in between for the first coat to dry. And you just uh, put that right into the, uh, the wet epoxy and uh, put some more on top and smooth it out and whatever. You put this on the uh, the inside <coughs> where you won't see anyway so it's uh, not a big deal to uh, to make a mess like I usually do. On the side that you're going to see though you need to uh, sand that smooth. I was able to get it pretty good with this uh, and sand it using just the corner. And then I used uh, a small piece of uh, finer sandpaper, even some wet, wet sandpaper going in there. Got it quite nice and smooth afterwards, but it no did notice there was another crack that I missed. So uh, I had to go back and uh, put some uh, glue on that. Now I continue the work in the uh, in the shed. Same process, um, different recycled materials. I 
also cutting that to shape where I needed uh, a piece and uh, back to the uh, process of cleaning, gluing. The only thing with this glue is, and I hate, I hate crazy glue, um, I, th I tried to do it as cleanly as I could, but the thing sealed itself own self up so I couldn't use the nozzle anymore. So I cut the other end off and was able to squeeze enough out. Okay, next step is the epoxy again after the glue had dried. If you ever get any of this stuff, there's uh, the instructions are quite good and uh, there, there's actually a video online, a YouTube video, and they explain it quite well too, repairing a bumper. So as you can see, the uh, my my encounter with the deer uh, left some damage on me and and him or her, um, but she limped away and uh, so did I. So or the bike did anyway. There was no uh, no injuries involved on my part. I just felt bad for the deer, but uh, everybody's good. All right, so after uh, letting that dry overnight, sanding whatever and letting it dry, uh, I applied some uh, spray paint. Now I picked up this uh, matte black or satin black um, Rust-Oleum, which is good for plastic metal. Um, if you've seen my other video with the painting of the tracker, this is same kind of uh, paint, Rust-Oleum. This is great stuff. And I got it at Walmart when it was on sale, so works for me. The accessory power plug had uh, the fuse, which was blown when I bought the bike, under the front cover. So I'll move that to, the, to nearer the battery for easy access. And then I put the uh, inner front cover back on. Um, there are, I believe, uh, eight tapping screws to put back in after you pop it back in the bottom. And there's also the, uh, the center mounting screw that I just put in there. This is the, uh, the bag holder that just has two screws. And then I'm popping the, uh, the ignition switch back in there. There are a few odds and ends to go back in here. This, this they call the lid and it just uh, connects the front side of the, uh, the two pieces that come in there underneath the headlight. And then you're putting on uh, what they call the uh, inner garnishes. And then you put the uh, front, uh, upper front cover back on. And there's three clips for the front cover. You just pop that back on. It's a little tricky. I hate this plastic snappy stuff but uh, that's the way it is with scooters. And then you just put a couple of, uh, couple of uh, screws in the top there. And you're done. Okay, first thing we need to do after the winter is uh, get the battery from uh, off the tender in the house and uh, hook it back up again.
So I've already put the uh, connectors on. I'm just going to pop it back into the bay here. bracket back on that holds the battery in place and it's fairly simple simple affair just pop those back on there and basically that's all you have to do and uh, hope that uh, it starts up first time every spring okay the next step is to uh, put the battery cover I'm not sure what they call this piece to look that up you just pop that back in there like so then you pop the seat and put the two screws back in to hold it together and try not to drop them when you're doing it forward you're done with that okay let's see if she starts with a couple of seconds for the uh, fuel to get up there there she goes Alright, let's take her for its first little spin of the year. Oh, this feels so nice. Hope this feeling never goes away of the first uh, ride. Oh man, this is great! Woohoo! 